All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, major update today. Um, you know, they, they dropped the patch as as always, but they didn't drop any patch notes yet. I was able to scrounge around, find some patch notes, check out some streams and all that good stuff. So we're going to be able to tell you what may or may not be in the game. We, we know what they said it did, but... Did it actually do what they said it did? And did it fix the things that we really needed to fix? We don't know because they never dropped the patch notes in a timely fashion. I understand though, you wanna, you wanna get maximum exposure from this stuff, so they're gonna drop the patch notes at the time when the most people are gonna read them and stuff like that. It's all about the almighty, almighty dollar. It's all about the almighty dollar when it comes to this stuff, man. These articles, they get views. These videos get views, all of that stuff, man. So it's like, if you ain't first, you're last, to, to quote my boy Ricky Bobby, we already know Brute gonna love that. But other than that, man, let's just get right into the news, man. So today, NBA 2K22, uh, we just gonna read read what they had up here, bro. Uh, NBA 20 uh, 2K22 dropped the patch today. 300 megabytes on PlayStation. Um, I think it was like 800, 825 megabytes on here. As y'all can see, my internet is eating it, eating it alive. And uh, even though there are no official patch notes, we did have some stuff from Reddit, and this is it. Just says one new one user from the NBA 2K subreddit is reporting that the new patch fixed an issue with the black screens uh, after each game. The user reported that the user reported that uh, after every my career game, they were getting stuck in a black screen and uh, would be forced to restart the game. Other users also corroborating the fix, um, you know, and that it resolved the issue issue as well. And then it just says it's likely that other bug fixes and all of that good stuff. Ah, you know, you know how it is, all the other bug fixes and all that various, various updates and bug fixes and miscellaneous suches and errors and all this stuff. So they're saying that they fixed that. The main thing is the black screens uh, when you're going into my career, you're playing the game. Uh, a lot of people were saying, a lot of people had been coming to my stream and they were like, hey, I'm playing the game. Do you know anything about this? I can't complete a my career game or I can't get into a my career game. When I try to complete one or when I try to go into one, I'm always getting the black screen and uh, I can never progress or what have you. So I can't even play my career. And you know, my career is one of the biggest things, one of the biggest, the my career players. There's certain parts of my career that you have to to get past before you can just, you can continue. You can't just play game after game after game. Uh, sometimes you do have to do these quests and stuff. One time it was a Kendrick Perkins, Perkins quest. Uh, at another time, you know, it was, it's a different, it was like the DJ quest or something like that. People were saying they were having some issues with. So hopefully all of those are fixed, but I'm hoping that black screens as a whole are fixed. My homeboy Brutal Sim, Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked that mean with a next video for y'all. He had the black screen in the park where it cut off his Xbox twice yesterday. He had to end the stream because he said, bro, I love my Xbox. Um, and like I said, he he doesn't, li he doesn't live in the US like we do. So he can't just go and get another Xbox. Like me, I got two Xboxes, one of mine, something happened. I can send this one in and I can play the other one until it gets there. But he doesn't have the capability to just go get another one like we do. So he has to be very, very careful. He, he tell you all the time, I gotta be very careful because I can't just do what y'all can do and go get another one. If he go get another one, they gonna try to charge him at least twice, you know, where he is. So he's like, people be trying to double up two times. I'm not doing that. And I understand that, man. So uh, hopefully it fixed the black screen issue uh, as well, but we really don't have any idea what it is. And you see all these people winning VC and doggone all these Gatorades and stuff. I know how he get 11 Gatorades and I only got 10 Gatorades. That's what I want to know. I get 10 Gatorades for category. He got 11. I got the enhanced space. Well, well, anyway, 2K. Up next, man, we got, um, ain't this, ain't this so 2K, man. Let me just, let me, let me, let me fix this real quick, bro. Cause I, I don't understand how my, how my Twitter link got off. But uh, ain't, ain't this so 2K to drop a patch and then drop something else like this, man? Just says, get get in the real game and order NBA 2K22 on the 2K store with your Amex card to receive a code for 35,000 VC. Yeah, 35,000? Bro, y'all let me know now in the comments section. What, what, what can we buy? What can you buy with, with 35,000 VC? I'll wait. I will wait. What can you buy? A fit? You might can get a whole fit with 35,000 VC. You, you sure enough can't get this swagged out 
uh, cart that I can get. Well, like I said, bro, we already know that 2K is doing their thing with the VC this year, bro. Like, they, they really being real gangster with the VC. But they'll promote the Amex thing. I guess you got to be able to play the game and stuff like that first, man. So, uh, they are working on the game at least... Like, like my boy All City Live TV. Y'all need to check out All City Live TV and Brutus Sim, man. Their link's down in the description. But um, both of them said the same thing, bro. That, uh, that you know, at least 2K is, is trying to be vigilant with this stuff. And they're going forth and they're trying to fix these things. I, I, can't, I can't hate on none of that, man. If they actually do get these things fixed, I, I'm, I'm good with it. But if not, then, you know, it is what it is. Up next, man, you got your boy. KD was playing with Chop, man. He said, 50 of them. I say, 50 of them things, man. Uh, 50 of them things. Look, man. Say, trays up, splash down. And you can see right here that uh, KD, Chalk, and uh, Slay Island, they went, on, uh, they went on a big, big 50 game winning streak, man. You know, um, I'm not saying, I, hey, I can't lie to y'all. That's hard to do in this game. I'm not saying that it's hard to get 50 wins in a row. But it's hard. I think the hardest part about getting that 50 winning streak really is probably the patience. But uh, if people know who you are, they're going to play you over and over and over and over and stuff like that, I guess. I think that would be the hardest part for us because we've gone on streaks where we haven't lost any games in 50 games and stuff like that. Uh, but the problem is always just getting people to play you. But at, at any rate, you know, I guess we got the combination of that trio together, man. People are going to play you and stuff like that. So I can't hate on that. But, man, look, I just like I like to see streaks. So if y'all like to see streaks and stuff like that, let me know. But, I, I, you know, it was it was probably hella people out there trying to end the streak and come up and run up. And, you know, this whole run up culture that we got in this thing, man, it is so lame. But somebody's trying to do something. They out there just having a good time. Probably was playing offline, too. So, like, you know, you're just trying to play offline, kick back and chill. That's something that y'all get to do that we really as streamers and content creators we really never get to do we don't never just get to play offline relax and just play the game and just chill and try to lab and find new things we never really get that because when you stream and it's like people always trying to run up they always trying to get a piece of the pie and they don't realize that nothing comes from that you have you have tons of people that play you with yt in their name or ttv in their name and and after the game it's like there's nothing happens on their side like they don't gain anything from it but if I play the game and I lose to them, then my, my actual view count goes up, sub count goes up, everything goes up. It's so weird. Like, like I don't I don't get that. Y'all let me know. Y'all ever noticed that? Like when I used to play with Man Man Grindhard, when we win, we be winning games and comp program all day long. Nothing happens. But then as soon as we start losing, it goes from 100 to 300 viewers. People start subbing, donating, and everything. So we low-key be cool with it, but it's just crazy, though, man. Like, people think you be mad, but it's all entertainment, man. It is what it is. Up next, speaking of going for 50, your boy Mikey Williams. Boy, he went for 50 of them things out there, man. Y'all know Mikey Williams is next up, man. If he's really, really that tough, man. I don't lie to y'all, man. I saw the pack a couple years ago. He was older than what he was. So I was like, yo, his game, I was like, yo, I don't know if his game is that good or whatever. Then I realized he was 15. I was like, yo, the dude, like, dude is like 6'2, six, six what he's 6'2, six, 6'3, six, like 215 pounds. I, I'm thinking he's 18 years old. So I was like, yeah, his game ain't, you know, I don't know how this, if he's gonna really make it to the league or if it's gonna translate like that. I mean, he fit. I said, bro, he's 15. This kid is tough. Like, you, because a game, because if you had the type of game that he had, has right now. If you got that type of game for an 18 year old, it's like, eh. but but back then the game that he had, he was a 15 year old boy. That that dude, that dude tough down. And anytime you go for 50 points, even if you go for 50 points against statues, a lot of people they could put you out there against a bunch of stat. Uh, us, hey, me too. Put us out there against a bunch of statues and you couldn't score 50 in 48 minutes. Shoot, taking you know taking shots. I'm telling you, man. A lot of people couldn't do it. But speaking of scoring 50, man, up last we got your boy Wedge Plug, your boy. He says, do you think the sniper badge should be nerfed? All right, your boy, uh, your boy, uh, the ISO uh, sensei says, uh, shooting needs to be nerfed in general, but I, but it won't be because of all the praise uh, the community is giving. Uh, one person says, to be honest, this is, this is my opinion, to be honest, why are you leaving guys open? Uh, that's the only way hitting full whites is a, pro is a problem solved. Uh, I guess, uh, and then one dude says cap because even because even hands up defense, um, 
in their face. 30% contest whites go in uh, because the sniper badge. Now, these things go in, but I don't think it has anything to do with the sniper badge, bro. I really, really, and truly feel like once you get over that 85 to 88 threshold in your, um, in your shooting, you just really not going to miss. Like Mike Wong said, bro, he told us that's a make. Like I tried, this is what I explained on stream. That's a make window. It's no longer a green window. It's a make, like you, it used to be that little part on the, on the thing was the green window. Now that's a make window. So anything that, if it lands in there, you have a chance to make the shot. If it lands out of there, you really don't have. So that's why when you see them earlies and lates and very earlies and very lates, those very seldom go in unless you're just blast open then they might go in but other than that but but they already told you he already told you that slightly early slightly late all of those they're gonna really have a big chance to go in and stuff like that i'm with the other guy I say y'all let me know what y'all think should wide open whites go in or whatever me i really don't care because this is the way that i want to feel about it but i can't really feel that way about it right now if i left him open knowing that everybody in this game has the capability to shoot why do I want to play? I want to, so when I say you gotta shoot a green, that's saying you need to be perfect. But I have played imperfect defense and I wanna get bailed out by the game. So why do I wanna play imperfect defense but want you to have to play perfect in order to score? You understand what I'm saying? I've already done something and I didn't do it the right way, but I want you to have to do everything in order to have to, in order to be able to score. But I can be, so I cannot be perfect. I want you to have to be perfect so I cannot have to be perfect. It's, it, it, it doesn't work like that. It's like, we gotta have it one or two ways. But I feel like if a person is open, then, then that's cool. You go ahead and shoot all the whites you want to. But if I'm on you, bro, if five to 10 to 8% contested, man, 30%, all those, those should not be going in, period white or you shouldn't even have the capability to green them joints sometimes they green them we be green in 20 if you got on the right jump shot the jump shot that i put down in the comments i mean not the conversation but i put out a couple of days ago you can literally green contestants over and over 20 30 town be 58 70s stuff like that because you got the right jump shot and plus he being taking stuff like that too but like i said i feel like uh i don't care about whites going in it, it is what it is i feel like i shouldn't have left the guy open so it's, it's up to him to, to just you know he can hit the ball in a game where everybody can shoot and we know that everybody can shoot why am i leaving him open that's that's what it is we made a mistake on defense they should have the capability to punish us just like if they make a mistake on offense we should have the capability to punish them but you can't in this game because you can't take the ball for people anymore but that's a whole nother rant whole nother story anyway that's all i got for y'all today man y'all let me know what y'all think now in the comment section all whites overpowered do they have to go in if they are i don't think it's because of the sniper badge though i just think it's just the shooting rating and how the game is actually designed the sniper badge certainly helps but it's not the reason that people are hitting whites because i was hitting them joints before i even got sniper on hall of fame so you know it is what it is anyway let me know what you think down in the comment section man uh i'm gonna holler at y'all next time y'all have a great day all city live tv big shout out to him big shout out to brutal sim love them guys the old head crew doing this thing repping still out here in them streets man and uh i'm gonna let y'all next time till next time that's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ it's little niggas online keep taking stabs at us but i'm too stingy to even give half a fuck god speak god speak